Hello, welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. And for today, I have a quick tutorial on how to remote control a Mac that's on the same network. So in other words, if you have two computers in the house, you have, let's say, one upstairs, and then you have one, uh, let's say, in the kitchen, and you'd like to make a change on your computer that's on the second floor, you can uh, do that without any third-party software. It's all pre-built into your Mac. The only thing you'll need to know is uh, the other Mac's IP address. Uh, so let's kind of get started with that. I've set it up a small virtual environment uh, with another Mac running uh, on my Mac so that, so that kind of we can see this happening. Uh, I have that window right here. So this here where it says OS 10.12.1, uh, uh, this is my virtual environment. And I already went to System Preferences and opened up the uh, Network uh, tab. So you do this on your, uh, you do this on the Mac that you want to access. Okay, so you would open up System Preferences and then go into Network. Okay, and then from Network you'll see your IP address here. Uh, mine is 10.0.1.26. Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind. And I'm going to minimize this window because we won't need it anymore. Okay, now we're back on our um, uh, sort of the Mac that's in the kitchen, right? Because we're actually we're trying to access the Mac that's on the second floor. So now that we know the the second floor Mac's IP address, uh, right from Finder, you want to make sure that you're in Finder. You'll know that you are because on top it'll say so. Uh, you'll click on Go, and then connect to server. A shortcut for that is on the keyboard using Command K. Okay, and what we'll do now is type. VNC colon forward slash forward slash 10.0.1.26. Well, that's the IP address that we just looked up, and we're going to hit connect. Okay, now it's going to ask for the admin's username and password, or just the administrator account's password. Look, uh, mine is just uh, admin because it's like a demo account, and then the password. Okay, and then we'll hit connect. Okay, and just like that, you're going to get a remote uh, kind of control session here where you're going to get to control and see everything that's happening on that other uh, Mac screen. It's just as simple as that. You don't have to purchase any third-party applications. It's all built right into the operating system. And this will work with Mac OS. It'll work with uh, Mac OS 10, uh, I think going back all the way down to Snow Leopard. So uh, no matter what version of um, the, the Macintosh operating system you're running, you'll be able to do this without having to purchase any like third party software or anything like that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we hope you join us back next time.